Five Natural Ways to Improve Your Sleep to Lose Weight. Yeah, you lose weight by sleeping and in this video we're going to explain why. A good night's sleep. Getting a good night's sleep can be refreshing and rejuvenating. For millions though, a good night's sleep seems just out of reach. People of all ages across the globe suffer from occasional to chronic insomnia. Insomnia is a condition that interrupts your ability to fall asleep or stay asleep. If you are suffering from this sleep disturbance, you may be hesitant to turn to harsh medications to help you fall asleep. And I don't blame you, because it's like becoming addicted to a drug. If you get used to having an artificial way to fall asleep, the time will come that you won't be able to sleep without that. Sleep duration affects hormones regulating hunger, ghrelin, and leptin, and stimulates the appetite. Another contributing factor might be the lack of sleep leads to fatigue and results in less physical activity. You know, physical activity, feeling restful, contributes a great deal to your overall health and also keeps you from munching on things that you shouldn't be eating. So now you have another reason to get a good night's sleep. Let's get right into it. Eliminate coffee. The morning cup of coffee seems to be a staple beverage for many people. However, caffeine is not just in coffee. Caffeine can be hiding in the cola you drink, the tea, and even some of the food you eat. While eliminating caffeine out of your diet 100% might not be possible, try to limit your consumption of caffeine to the mornings only. Prevention Magazine tells us that ingesting caffeine even six hours before bedtime can disrupt sleep. I try never to have a cup of coffee after one o'clock because it really does havoc on your sleep. And that in turn creates havoc on your waistline. Exercise. Not only does exercise help you maintain a healthy body weight and better mental outlook, but a sleep foundation study found that those who exercised was less sleepy during the day and slept better at night. While a new exercise routine may leave you a little tired at first, regular exercise will give you more energy and help you fall asleep at bedtime. This may have to do with the chemicals released by the body when you exercise. The neurotransmitters released by the brain during exercise have all sorts of beneficial properties and improved sleep is one of them. And, you know, we, we all hear exercise, exercise, exercise. But what I'm telling you is don't exercise to the extreme. If you're overweight, it's hard. Do what you can. If you can, go out and take a walk during lunch or after dinner or any time you have the opportunity to get into the world, get some fresh air and go for a walk. If not, I recommend a treadmill. I treadmill every morning when the weather's bad, when the weather's good, I go out and take a bike ride. So a word to the wise, get on Craigslist, get yourself a free treadmill from someone who bought it and never used it. Here's a nice workout called the 54321 workout. And what basically it says, five minutes of cardio, four minutes of lunges or walking, three minutes of push-ups and uh, biceps doing some body work, and two minutes of squats or jumps. Just getting your body moving and jumping and going 15 minutes. That's all it takes. Meditate. Meditation has a restorative effect on the brain. There are all sorts of benefits that meditation can have for a person. Many of the benefits of meditation include reduced stress and a better ability to cope with difficult issues in one's life. And you know, a lot of us, food is our drug of choice because we have so many stressful things going in our lives that food has taken the place of alcohol or booze or uh, uh, drugs. So meditation is a way to calm your body down, to calm your brain down, put you back in the moment. Meditation is also great for insomnia. A Harvard study found that mindful meditation helped combat insomnia. It invokes a relaxation response in those who participate 
helping them relax enough to fall asleep quickly and stay asleep through the night. If you're not familiar with how to meditate, there are many guided meditation audio programs that you can buy or check out from your library. Now, that last sentence, you won't believe how much good stuff is available in your library for free. You can take out something and record it on your phone and then listen to it on earplugs. It won't cost you a dime. And it's a great way to get into the moment and back in touch with yourself. Morning meditation or afternoon meditation, I don't care when you do it. It's a peaceful way to start your day or to keep your day going and to keep you from eating the wrong foods. Sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene is a practice to help you sleep better at night. It has to do with the environmental clues. Alaska Sleep notes that environmental clues should be taken into consideration if you aren't sleeping. Use the bedroom for sex and sleep only. No electronics. Keep the room dark and quiet. Keep your room cool. Have a good mattress. Set your alarm clock away from your bed. You know, that iPhone that you look at before you go to sleep creates a a hormone in your brain called serotonin, which is the wake-up drug. That's why when we get up in the morning, we put our open the shades and get the sunlight because that creates a feel-good hormone in our brain. But that very same hormone, if it's got a, a light shining into your eyes, goes into the brain. The brain doesn't know light or de- night or day, so it starts producing serotonin. So what you do is avoid that bright light. In fact, the iPhone now has a dimmer on the uh, on the screen when you if you use it at night. But I recommend don't look into that screen at night at all. Before don't take it into your bedroom. So word to the wise. Keep electronics out of the bedroom. And if you're lucky, use the bedroom only for sex or sleep only. Get up every morning. You know, not everybody does. A lot of people are in a hospital or they're not here anymore. They can't get up and welcome the day. You know, I like to hear that old expression that says, uh, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. So getting up at the same time every day and avoiding naps helps your body follow a circadian rhythm. According to research, we need this to sleep well at night. There are two really important elements to this step. Step number one, stop hitting the snooze button and train yourself to get up at the same time every day. If you hit the snooze button once or twice or six times, you are not really training yourself to get up at the same time every day. If you know you do not need to get up until 7.30, stop stop setting your clock for 7. Save yourself the 30 minutes to interrupt the sleep and set the clock or the alarm for 7.30. Get up at the first time it rings. You know, you may not believe it, but your brain has an automatic clock in it, and it'll wake you up. Step 2. No naps. If you're not used to getting up in the morning, then this may be the hard part for you. Napping can throw you off for sleeping at night because you're simply not tired enough to get to bed on time. Skip the nap and the caffeine and stay up so that you can have a good night's sleep. Here's the effects of sleep deprivation. Increased heart rate variability, risk of heart disease, decreased reaction time and accuracy, tremors, aches, other growth suspension, risk of obesity, decreased temperature, risk of diabetes, impaired immune system, system similar to ADHD, hallucination, severe yawning, impaired moral judgment, memory lapses or loss, cognitive impairment, irritability. Your brain needs rest. Your brain needs peace. Your brain needs to wash all the stuff out of it during the night and so you could be refreshed the next day. So let's review what you learned. Sleep hygiene. If you're having trouble sleeping, this is the list of things you should try to improve your sleep hygiene and the quality of your sleep. 
One, stick to a sleep schedule even on the weekends. I do. I've had for years. Two, exercise is great, but not too late in the day. Very important. You know, a lot of people go to those gyms at night, and then they're up. Their body's flushed with blood. Their, their brains are wide awake. So how's it going to be easy to fall asleep? Avoid caffeine and nicotine. Of course, we definitely tell you not to smoke. Avoid alcoholic drinks before bed. You know, it may relax you, but after that relaxation goes away, you wake up. Avoid large meals and beverages late at night before going to bed. Why? Because you got all that, the calories in your body. Your body's not going to burn calories, so what is it going to do? It's going to turn to fat. So avoid the large meals and beverages late at night before going to bed. You know, if you have a decent meal about 5, 6 o'clock, it gives you 3, 4 hours to digest it before you go to bed, that's fine. But if you have a heavy meal at 8, 9 o'clock, it's going to turn to fat. Sorry to tell you. Don't take naps after 3 p.m. Keep power naps less than one hour. So if you nap, because some of you, you know, they say a power nap is a good thing. Keep it under an hour. Relax before bedtime. Yeah, watch some comedy. Listen to some music. Just take your mind off your life and be in the moment of relaxation. That will help you sleep better. Take a hot bath before bed. That is wonderful. But few of us do it. Have a good night sleeping environment. Get rid of anything in your bedroom that might distract you from sleep. Ten, have the right sunlight exposure. You know, during the day, you want to have that serotonin in your brain. You want to be wide awake. You want to be enjoying it. But at night, you want it off. So getting enough during the day will help you not need it at night. Don't lie in bed awake. If you find yourself still awake after staying in bed for more than 20 minutes, get up and do a relaxing activity until you feel sleepy. 12. Adopt good sleeping postures. 13. See a doctor if you continue having trouble sleeping. I used to have a problem with sleep apnea until I had a sleep test study, and now I use a CPAP machine. To, that pushes oxygen into my into my mouth during the night and helps me sleep better because sleep apnea causes you to wake up hundreds of times during the night. And that's why I was getting up with migraines and tired during the day or falling asleep at, at, in the afternoon. So if you're having those kind of problems, you should have a sleep study, a sleep study done to check out that you don't have sleep apnea, which is a big, big problem. And sleep apnea is also the cause of many of our obesity. Uh, don't lie in bed awake. If you find yourself awake after staying in bed for more than 20 minutes, get up and do a relaxing activity until you feel sleepy. What I've been doing is, there's a wonderful program called TED Talks, T-E-D Talks dot com. And what they do is they bring speakers that have specialties from around the world and give an eight-minute talk, 18-minute talk on their specialty. And it's diverse. And they're very, very interesting talks by very interesting people. And listen to stuff you would never listen to. Listen to people you would know nothing about. And get exposure to things that are going on to the world. Put the iPhone under your pillow or whatever device you're using, and let it run, and you'll go out, because it'll take your mind off all your troubles. We offer a wonderful Power of Mindfulness program on our website, Saturday Morning Diet, forward slash mindfulness for weight loss. And also, we have our wonderful Canadianic Diet, Discover the low car Difference. You'll love it. We've... Uh, shared this with many, many people, and we're hearing nothing but great results. We have our own homemade, our own products that we created 
uh, weight loss e-courses of the Saturday morning diet, what we lost our weight with. We have a bronze package, a silver package, and a gold package that would fit anyone's budget. So please, share us with your uh, family and friends. Subscribe and put us on, and give us likes on Facebook, on YouTube. Get the word out because we're, we're, we're trying to spread the word in this free product that we give out. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>